Good morning, my name is Paola Ash and I'm a dual qualified podiatrist and osteopath with my lovely client today. Um, I've been seeing this client for, I'd say now about, give or take six months, and the feet look a lot better, but if we can just try to capture um, your heel, if you can maybe bring the video down a little bit into the heel. Actually, I'll just grab that for one moment. So, I'll just get a close up of this. So this is very, very mild, and what this is called called great so if i can just pass you back the phone that's lovely so this condition is called pitted keratolysis and it's actually a superficial bacterial infection the main organisms that create this thing it's basically i've got a little um cinnamon for it but it's called canine bacterium you've got actimysis you have dermato um, sedentarium. We've got chyto, no, sorry, um, dermato uh, congolese, and then you've got a chyto uh, bacterium, and then we've got streptomyces bacterium. So it's caused by five bacteria, but mainly corneum. Now these heels look so much better. I'm really delighted. To actually clear that up completely, you may want to go on oral antibiotics, which some people are not keen on, which I understand, but usually a Fusidin cream applied twice a day for can be a week or maybe even two weeks should do the trick. In terms of daily wear, what happens with these type of superficial bacterial infections is that your feet get very damp, moist, maybe you work very hard, long hours, occlusive footwear, so although not brilliant for musculoskeletal, but if you can wear sliders or flip flops, get air to the feet basically to dry them out, that is gonna be the order of the day. And maybe even changing your socks up to three times a day. No, it seems a bit boring and excessive, but that's gonna keep you in good stead. Any questions at all, please comment and um, it'll be lovely to hear from you. Thank you very much indeed.